Imagine if um, I had a birthday party and I invited all of you to my birthday party and we were just having fun and you brought all these gifts to me, just all these amazing, amazing gifts. And, uh, and I was opening them, I was like, wow, this is awesome, thank you so much, just one after the next, like, oh, this is great, this is exactly what I wanted and just being so blessed. And, you know, the night went on and was partying and celebrating and then it was time to go and you were all leaving one by one and I was at the door saying goodbye and, uh, and, and so, you know, as you came past, I said, oh, thank you so much for that gift. That was so kind of you. And you said, oh, you're so welcome. By the way, you owe me 500 bucks for that gift. <laughs> and the next person, hey, uh, thank you for that gift. Yeah, no worries. Uh, it was such an honor to give you that gift. Um, but by the way, you owe me $1,000. Next time I see you, I want you to have that money. Make sure you don't forget. I want that money, $1,000 for that gift. I gave you a gift, and then I want $1,000 for that gift. How many realize that's not a gift? That, that's apparently I bought something from you. Apparently, that, that's called buying something, okay? <laughs> Amen? Some people treat the righteousness of God like that. They think God gives them the gift of righteousness, and then he demands that we pay him back for it by acts of righteousness, trying to be righteous in order to pay for the gift of righteousness. But actually, his gift is a gift. It's not something we have to pay for. Amen? It's free. How many of you realize that a gift is free? Yeah? A gift is free. If you have to earn it, then it's, an, then it's a reward. It's something that you've earned. The, 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 the righteousness of God is perfect righteousness. And there's not a thing on the planet that you can do to earn it. Amen? That's an insult to the righteousness of God, saying, I can do something to earn your righteousness, to be made righteous. I can do something to, to qualify and to earn righteousness. And a lot of people are trying to do that, but that's called, what's that called? Self-righteousness. Amen? That's self-righteousness. When you're trying to earn God's righteousness, you're being self-righteous. Look at um, Romans chapter 5, verse 17. It says, For if because of one man's trespass, death reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. It's a free gift. It's a free gift. It's a gift, and it's free, and it's His righteousness, and it comes through Jesus, and God gives it to us as a gift. Do you know what that means? It means that God has made you righteous. It means that God has removed your self-righteousness, and He's given you His righteousness. It means He's taken away your imperfect righteousness, where you were trying so hard, and nothing was good enough, and you were falling short of God's righteousness. And he removed your imperfect righteousness and he gave you his righteousness. And then he has a relationship with you based on that righteousness. Not your righteousness, not your self-righteousness, but on his righteousness. The reason that we can go to heaven is because we have his righteousness. Everyone that is stuck in their own righteousness, relying on their own righteousness, trusting in their own works of the law to be righteous, are not going to go to heaven. Amen? Only those. Unless your righteousness exceeds that of the Pharisees, no one will enter heaven. The only righteousness that exceeds that of the Pharisees is God's gift of righteousness. Amen? Amen.